Hey Dog Nation, I'm Brandon Adams, obviously the host of Dog Nation Daily, which we just got through doing a moment ago, and I'm sitting here in our Dog Nation World Headquarters studios, minding my own business, and lo and behold, out of nowhere comes what appears to be a pretty significant announcement from the George Bulldogs. This screenshot taken from a video UGA just released, and by the way, the full video you can go to dognation.com and watch. Incredible release, hearkening back to the 1980 season, the red pants. The UGA used to wear for its uh, away games, the 2007 season, the black jerseys that Georgia first introduced in the famous blackout game against Auburn. Apparently, this, the new look for 2020. I don't know if this means it's the only uniforms Georgia's wearing this year, so that's one interpretation of this, that it could be away game look for the dogs this year, home game look for the dogs this year with the black jerseys. You see a couple of differences maybe from what you've seen before with the kind of the new school Georgia logo here on the shoulder. You can't quite tell this from the photo here, but there are like the dog collar spikes going around the neck. I've actually seen that in some of the jerseys that are for sale right now in apparel stores, places that sell that kind of thing. There's a 40 year anniversary of the national championship patch right here. But the big deal for a lot of people gonna be the black jerseys, apparently for home games, still holding on to those silver britches. Now maybe red pants for the away games, with the old school red stripe. You guys remember when like Michelin Ness first started doing the throwback stuff years ago? That obviously cool reminder of what Herschel Walker once wore with the red stripe there like that. Um, a really very cool look for Georgia with the black jerseys, the red pants, the white jerseys here. I'm actually kind of curious what Georgia fans are going to think about this and say about this. We'll take a couple of your comments here. The honest truth is, I'm like a thousand years old. If you look around our Dog Nation World Headquarters studio stuff, you see lots of throwback homages here. The Vince Dooley photo, you know, I just like the old classic Georgia look for the most part. I actually like these kind of better than I probably thought that I would. Um, I'm actually a little bit more excited about this than I probably initially anticipated I probably would be. I think 2020 is kind of a weird year. I think you got to do everything you can to make it fun this year for a lot of Georgia fans who may be, you know, used to having a big tailgate experience, you know, not getting a chance to do that. For Georgia fans who are, you know, used to going to every game, maybe not getting a chance to do that as much as they would have in the past. I think anything you can do to provide the energy, recruits are obviously going to love this. I can't imagine those won't be received very well there. I think the whole thing is actually pretty cool. And listen, for a lot of programs, the new uniform announcement is not a very big deal. In fact, there's some programs that send a tweet about uniform combinations before every game. For the most part, Georgia's never really needed to do that because Georgia has been very traditional with the uniform that it's put out there. As kind of an old school guy, I for the most part like the old traditional look, but I don't know if it's just the, just the, the cool vibe of the video that Georgia put out or maybe if I'm just more ready for something new than I realize, but I love this, especially this right here. I mean, the black is cool, and the, you know, the, the, the dog collar, whatever. But this deal right here, I mean, that's about as good as it gets right there. That does remind me a lot of my childhood and things like that. So we'll take a few comments. We'll let you uh, kind of weigh in on the idea that uh, Georgia has put it out there. New uniforms for 2020. It looks to be a home and an away variety. Don't know if that means they'll be doing multiple combinations or what, but those are certainly pretty impressive. Mike Wall says that recruits love black jerseys, and you certainly will anticipate and expect recruits to be pretty happy about this, pretty excited about that. And it kind of brings to an end, you know, uh, at least I'm assuming they'll actually wear these in games. I've kind of joked before that the black jerseys are a little bit like Georgia's version of like the Marine Corps dress blues, you know, kind of something that you only wear for ceremonial purposes. Maybe now Georgia's going to kind of get away from that a little bit. Uh, Chandler Johnson likes the red pants for away games, and yeah, I really like that. Uh, of all the combinations, the black and the silver, the white and the red, this one's really kind of got me, uh, I guess, the most excited for the, mo for the moment. Um, Jesse Dillinger Jr. likes the new dog logo on the sleeve here. That's a pretty cool one. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly incorporated uh, in, in kind of a cool way. Uh, a lot of folks weighing in on this. Susan Kornblut says she loves them. Um, Mike Wall says we need some options. And believe it or not, players love the new options too. So yeah. Uh, Sean DeBerry, I like this phrase. He says, it's 2020, anything goes. Let's just play ball. And yeah, I would say a year like 2020 is a pretty good opportunity to kind of break out something like that. Uh, Peter Jeffrey Wilson seems to be excited. Uh, Ronald Williams McCleary says, I'm just partial to the old dog. Obviously, you know, some people are going to feel that way, and I kind of understand that. Uh, Frederick uh, Robsich says, the silver britches are nothing interesting. It is kind of interesting. At least I think these are still silver. Silver still kind of going with the black here. 
Kind of nice to see. Jim Dixon says, white on red, bring it on. Yeah, I love those. Christina Kelly kind of saying it reminds of Herschel Walker, and it is. That's a cool look, man. It's a cool look. I love to see it. And we'll see, you know, how often, you know, these jersey and combinations kind of remain the way they are and how soon before some of these get mixed together. You know, can you, could, can you do the black on the red? You know, can you, can you do that? Um, is there a possibility of maybe another pair of pants in there somewhere that we haven't seen yet? So a, a lot of folks kind of weighing in on this. Um, Bell Jones says traditional all the way. Gimmicks don't work. I wouldn't call this a gimmick, though. I mean, th this is a uniform that Georgia's worn plenty in the past, and Georgia's worn this one plenty in the past as well. And it's a, you know, at least, you know, minus some of the new, the bells and whistles, this is a uniform that Georgia's kind of had on stock. So as far as the, uh, the gimmick type stuff goes, this is certainly, for me, far from that. And it's probably why someone like me who's, a little bit of a traditionalist, why someone like me might actually like something that's a little bit more because it, and, and, and the initial Georgia tweet kind of said this themselves, that it's a kind of a, a flair for the new with a little bit of respect for the old there as well. You can think back to games in which Georgia's worn these and it was really cool in the video that, that Georgia put together showing some footage from Georgia, Tennessee in 1980 from the Sugar Bowl in 1981 and then showing Vern Lundquist and, and Gary Danielson dancing to a soldier boy in 2007. So believe it or not, you know, even though this is different than what we've seen Georgia wear in recent years, this is actually kind of a part of Georgia's history. You want to talk about making me feel very old. The idea that all of a sudden now black jerseys are old enough to be a throwback 13 years ago to the first blackout game. That's actually a little scary to even think about right there. Um, Billy Hurley says, let's face it, the incoming classes love how Oregon switches it up. Uh, so these work. Yeah, I think it'll work for recruits. There's no question about that. I would say in general, recruits probably like some uniforms that someone like me probably wouldn't like. But honestly, this is not getting out of a traditional lane for me. Like, you remember a couple years ago when Florida wore like the Swamp Thing uniforms that sort of looked like the skin of an alligator? Like, that's something I, you know, I hope Georgia doesn't get into. You know, Tennessee wearing the smoky gray that's kind of getting away from their traditional color scheme. This is at least you know, in keeping with what we've seen Georgia wear before. Let me do a few comments on YouTube and then this special edition of DN90. We'll kind of wrap up after that. Um, let's find out what people are saying here as we're talking about what looks to be a really cool new uh, uniform for Georgia. You know, when you see the, the, the light shining off the Georgia helmets there, kind of reminds you of, of what you'd see in a game day, you know, as the, in fall, as daytime turns to night. Easy to, get, easy to get excited about all of this and what kind of brings to the table here. Let's check in on YouTube here a little bit. Richard Lurch says, still love the red jersey. And a lot of folks probably do. There's no question about that. I've always been a fan of that there as well. But these, I gotta say, these work for me a little bit too. And it's gonna look cool. You know, you see in the background here, the Georgia locker room. And one of the things that, uh, that Georgia's locker room has is kind of a display area, a, a lighted display area where the, the uniform combinations that it has can be put on display. And I gotta imagine that these uh, uniforms will be displayed prominently in there. One of the things I look forward to finding out more about, and I bet we'll hear more about this coming up really soon, is how so when did the players learn about this? Have they known about this for a while? They found out today on this? They have known about it. Okay, so the players, according to what Connor Riley's saying, have known about this. I always love the moment when players are first notified of something like this because, listen, football can be a grind, right? The same old, same old can get a little old after a while you know, to let them know, hey, you've wanted some interesting uniform combinations, you wanted some more stuff, here's a chance for you to actually go out there and get that. I think that's really pretty fun. Um, all right, Eric Ray also likes the white on red. Yeah, I would say so far, that's the one we just haven't seen in the longest. Georgia wore its uh, black jerseys as recently as 2016, so we haven't seen the white on red in quite some time. So that's a pretty fun one to, have, to bring back here. Uh, tr uh, Tree Cracker says, uh, just win even if you have to wear a, cro a croaker sack. Um, yeah, listen, I, I think people have a good time with the uniforms, though. People enjoy that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see, one or two more, and we'll get ready to get out of here. Danky Banks likes the dog collar on the jersey. Yeah, it's a little difficult to tell on these just because of the way the photograph, the way the players are holding their helmets. But, yeah, well, let's, let's see some of this. We can kind of get to some of that. It's almost like I feel like I'm uh, on the Telestrator here. Remember the old school deal here? Yeah, no, oh, look at that. There it is. Look at that right there. People are going to really like that. It's those little tiny little bells and whistles that people really enjoy. And it almost looks like on the basis of this, there's a little bit of a, 
what do you call that? Uh, it's not satin, but like a, you know, <laughs> I don't know, like a, like a kind of a cool fabric uh, material around the edge here. I'd say Nike's done pretty well with these. I, I think you got to give Nike some, uh, some credit here on those, the dog collar getting called out, and through the magic of video, we're able to show that to you. Um, Ronald Lee Shepard brings them a pretty good point that sometimes in the apparel stores, you do see some maybe some jersey type stuff, and it may look like something that Georgia might wear. They end up not doing that. There had been some dog collar stuff I had seen in a uh, apparel store the other day. I didn't think much about it, honestly, because I have noticed jerseys before that weren't actually the game jerseys. I didn't think much about it at the time. Maybe that was more of a foreshadowing than I, uh, than, than I realized. Yeah, Danky, I'm, I'm good to have. I'm glad to have you in the show. Ha happy to have you doing that. Uh, Poboski Harvey seems to like them. That's good to know. Uh, I, I think there are. I think there's a lot to like. Yeah, Trab Dub says he did see this black jersey for sale. So had I seen this, and I, as I said before, I think I did with the dog collar and everything else. I just don't think I would have probably thought, well, that's a jersey George is about to wear in a game because it does seem like some of this stuff ends up for sale and you never see it. There's also a lot of people who are like really good at Photoshop that make their own uniform combinations that look real enough. So I think I'm sort of desensitized to creative combinations like this because most of them end up not being something that's even actually authentic to Georgia or something that Georgia's actually wearing. One or two more and we're going to get ready to go. Uh, Kennard Chapman says he's actually known about these for a while. The players, he says, have known about them for a while. So I'm sure they were excited when they were first told. The old legend is, is that in 2007, when the players found out they were wearing black jerseys for the first time, lights go out for the prayer. At least that's what I've been told. Who knows how that story's grown over time. Uh, lights come back on. There are the black jerseys. And uh, that's how they found that out. So hopefully for the players themselves, when they learned about these, they got a, uh, a nice surprise with all of that too. So if you go to dognation.com, you can see the full video from UJ in its entirety. Listen, ultimately college football is about having fun. It's about entertainment. And this is certainly... Kind of an unexpected, surprising thing. I certainly didn't wake up today thinking we'd get a new uniform announcement at the University of Georgia, but um, I'm having a good time with it. I know many of you there w w will as well. You should really look at the video that Georgia did that rolls all this out and unveils it. It's, it's really very impressively done. Uh, a really well done video on top of the fact that the uniforms themselves have a lot to uh, recommend as well. So check that out. Read the full story about when the players found out and all of that. That's dognation.com on that. Thanks for being here for DN90. I'll see you tomorrow for another edition of our little video uh, deal here. Also, Dog Nation Daily at 10 a.m. And this evening, we'll do more on the uniforms as well for our Cover 4 Live presented by Georgia Farm Bureau. We'll look forward to talking to you then, everybody. Thanks for being here.